Welcome to Aquarium Tip Tank once again. This is TJ, and today we're going to go over making salt water for your salt water aquarium. As you can see here, I have got my Instant Ocean Reef Crystals Reef Salt out and ready, along with all of the other tools that I will need in order to make my salt water. I have my Coral Life Deep Six Hydrometer. I also have measuring cups. I have scissors just to basically open the bag with. I also have a mixing tool over here that I will basically just stir the water up with so that all the salt dissolves. And I have my, I have 10 gallons sitting right here of RODI purified water ready to add salt to. Now, for me, with these reef crystals, with this reef, instant ocean reef crystals reef salt, I want to make water that has a specific gravity of about 1.022, and that would be a salinity of about 30 parts per thousand. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add salt slowly. Uh, my, my five gallon buckets are pretty well filled up with RODI purified water. And if I go too far with the specific gravity or the salinity or it gets too high, what you're supposed to do is basically add more RODI purified water to kind of dilute that salt that you've put in there. Well, the issue is my buckets are pretty well filled with water and I don't have much more room in those buckets to add any more RODI filtered water. So it's going to be much easier to fill the, these buckets with salt then it is going to be to basically pour some water out put some more RODI purified water in and have to deal with all that so the directions on the back of these instant ocean reef crystals reef salt says that a half a cup of salt will basically make about a gallon of salt water well, each of these buckets that I have here is five gallons, so that means that going by the directions, I need about two and a half gallons, uh, I'm sorry, two and a half cups of salt. So let's go ahead and open the bag, and I'm just going to start with one cup of salt, and when I'm opening the bag, I'm opening it just far enough. I'm not going to use this entire bag. It's enough for 50 gallons worth of salt water. I only have a 30 gallon tank. So I'm only going to open it partially, just enough in order to get my measuring cups in there and get enough salt out so that I can reclose it somehow. So I'm going to start with one cup. I'm going to get that cup in there, get a full cup of salt. Make sure it's fairly even to make sure that I'm measuring correctly and, and full. And go ahead and pour that salt right on into the water that I have purified. As I've stated earlier, I'm going to start with one cup and go ahead and start mixing that one cup of aquarium salt that I've added to my RODI purified water until that salt dissolves. Then once that salt dissolves I will go ahead and check the specific gravity and salinity with my hydrometer. I'll basically keep on doing this until I get to a specific gravity of about 1.022 and a salinity of 30 parts per thousand. Now, when I start here and I do my first measurement, I expect that my specific gravity will be fairly low. I expect that it'll be around 1.016 or something like that. Just due to the fact that, again, the directions on the back of the Reef Crystals Reef Salt says that it takes a half a cup per gallon. Well, I've only added so far one cup of salt to my five gallons of water. I should need about one and a half more cups of this salt. So we'll just have to see what happens. I 
I go ahead in, I get some, I fill up some of the hydrometer with some of this water that I've just mixed up. I put it down on a level surface to see where the meter kind of floats to. And it looks like I was right. It's right around the 1.014 to 1.016 range for specific gravity. And that's about 20 parts per thousand to 22 parts per thousand. So the specific gravity in the salinity is a little low. And I need to go ahead and add more salt. Since I'm adding salt slowly, I'm just going to take a half cup measuring cup now and just add salt by the half cup from here on out. Again, I have to mix up that salt a little bit so that it dissolves in the RODI purified water. In fact, I shouldn't really even be calling it RODI purified water anymore. Now, it is actually salt water. Of course, it isn't salt water. That is the correct specific gravity and salinity for my marine aquarium. I'm trying to match natural environment conditions, of course. And those natural environment conditions should be with a specific gravity of around 1.022 to 1.026 and a salinity of about 30 parts per thousand to 34 to 35 parts per thousand. I will let you know that two and a half cups of Reef Crystals Reef Salt worked absolutely perfectly to match those conditions. Thank <laughs> you.